So week 14 is in the books of the NFL season. Who's going to be MVP? I'll give you the top five next on Titan Upload. So three weeks to go in the NFL season. Who's going to be MVP? Here we go. Number five, Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry has a chance to do a milestone, reach 2,000 yards. He's got to go for about 156 over his next three, but if he can do it, he'll have a really solid chance. I would also imagine the Titans would need to finish the season 12 and four and be AFC South champs. But if you check out what Derrick's done in his last five games, four of those games went for over 100 yards, one for 133, one for 178, and one for 215, which was last week at Jacksonville. He has eight 100-yard games, two 200-yard games. The only issue with Derrick Henry is for about five games this season, for whatever reason, the Tennessee Titans, maybe it's the way they play offense or defense, Derrick was not able to hit 85 yards. That is going to be his one knock, but if he finishes strong, reaches 2,000 yards, I think Derrick Henry has a very solid chance to be MVP. Right now, Vegas has him plus 5,000, but Derrick has a chance. Just got to keep winning and keep rushing the ball, and Derrick Henry could be your NFL MVP. Josh Allen comes in number four, and Vegas has him plus 1,600. Actually, they have him third. He has a real good shot here. Allen is just having a phenomenal season. He has definitely improved in every area of his game. Um, You look at him across the board. He's thrown for four touchdowns in three games. He's thrown for 400 yards in two games. I mean, even his rushing statistics, 350 yards and six touchdowns, plus his 28 touchdowns through the air, even his quarterback completion percentage, roughly around 69%. Allen's doing it all. The only knock on Allen is for whatever reason, back-to-back weeks at the Jets and New England Patriots at home. He did win those games close, but he put up zero touchdowns and one interception combined. When you're going up against Mahomes and Rodgers, that's just not going to be good enough. Now, he did have a big win last week against the Pittsburgh Steelers on Sunday Night Football. He's been getting a lot of steam here in his favor. We'll see if that continues with three games down the stretch. But Allen, realistically, having a great year and definitely has a chance. Russell Wilson comes in at number three. If you go by the first half of the season, he definitely was your MVP. Started the year off hot. First three games, 14 touchdowns, one interception. Some big wins for Russell Wilson. Started the Seahawks 5-0. Pretty much did everything for the Seahawks. Now he's had five games with at least four touchdowns, which is truly remarkable. Uh, Like I mentioned, first half MVP. The issue is he hasn't had a 300-yard game performance since November 8th. Yes, that's right. Not one 300-yard passing performance since November 8th. His last five games, nothing special. Eight touchdowns, four interceptions, under 100 passer rating. But when you look at him compared to Allen, Allen's been doing, he's been more effective in his last five games. Russell Wilson has been kind of fading away. He had a strong start. I still value his start with everything else. I think when they kind of vote for MVP, it's like kind of what you've done for me lately. But you can't deny the fact that Russell Wilson's having a great season. Join us this Sunday at 11.45 for the Watch Along Party Lions-Titans. Be there. And don't forget to tighten up that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. We'd love to have you here on the channel. Number two, Mahomes. Now, Mahomes probably is going to be MVP. I'm just telling you up front. I I wouldn't give it to him right now. I'd give it to somebody else. But I'm telling you, according to Vegas, they have him the favorites. His team is probably going to be 15-1, and the number one seed in the AFC. They're going to win the AFC West, probably going to the Super Bowl. We'll see what happens. But he had five touchdowns against the Jets. I know it's the Jets. Four touchdowns against a good Ravens team. And look what he did against the Bucs, 462 yards and three touchdowns. Now, over his last five games, the big game that really kind of concerned me was the Dolphins. And what have you done for me lately? The Dolphins, he had three interceptions. Now, he did have two touchdowns. But, you know, when you look at his quarterback percentage, uh, completion percentage, his his look at his passer rating, I mean, those are all really good. Leads the league in in yards thrown. But, again, he's having a great season. 
but he has a lot of great talent. Even if the Chiefs had another quarterback, I still think they would have won the AFC West. And number one, Aaron Rodgers. Now, a lot of it's going to come down to Rodgers and Mahomes for MVP. Vegas right now has uh, Rodgers at plus 175, Mahomes minus 200. So they like Mahomes, but I like Rodgers. I think Rodgers, over his last five games, 15 touchdowns, two interceptions, 124 pass rating. Again, it's what you've done for me lately. On the last week, Mahomes had three interceptions against the Dolphins. Aaron Rodgers is just lighting it up across the board. Ten games this season with no interceptions, five games with four touchdowns at least, and against the Bucs, he did struggle, but that was earlier in the season. And I think if you flip-flop games, Bucks and Dolphins, and you flip-flopped them where they were on the schedule, and Rodgers was his last performance against the Bucs, then yeah, I think Mahomes would get it. Don't sleep on Aaron Rodgers. Three games left, still can do a lot of damage. I mean, he could be 13-3, and three, but let's not kid ourselves. One that's going to win MVP, unless he just has another performance like the Dolphins, is going to be Mahomes. I don't agree with it at this point. I go Rodgers, but let's not kid ourselves. Hope you enjoyed the top five. Also wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays here from Tighten Upload. And don't forget to tighten up. I'm Tighten Upload, and you're watching Fan to Fan Network, the voice that fans deserve. Tighten up.